Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Gruul Arcbow. It's been a minute since we've played this deck. I've been playing Selesnya Arcbow more, but I like this version too. So this version is a lot more aggressive. Um, we're just trying to get our creatures out there, get our really big oversized uh, creatures for their cost and attack. With all of the Planeswalkers around these days, there's not as many creatures. And so we wanna try to fix that. So of course we're an Ilrog deck or Ilharg deck. There we go. Let me let me pronounce that correctly. So yeah, we are an Ilharg deck, which this Borgod is just really cool, and we haven't seen too many people playing it unfortunately because of like how good all these Planeswalkers are everywhere. So we want to give Ilharg some love. So we're going to be trying to put Ilharg in at instant speed with our Vivian Zarkbow. Uh, we also have a, a Rhythm of the Wild over the fourth Arcbow to be able to give some haste, which I I like that. I think that's a pretty good change here one main change that we're making since last time probably the biggest change is instead of playing merfolk branch walker in the two mana slot we just got kral harpooners so harpooners are are pretty aggressive of always being three twos or branch walkers can sometimes be three twos but Har <clears throat> harpooner has some good synergy with ilharg and rhythm of the wild where um if you're if you're putting Harpooner in the battlefield, like if you're putting it in off of Ilharg and you're just putting it into play and attacking, it does have that undergrowth trigger. So whenever it enters the battlefield, it will get the plus X plus O until end of turn. So if you're putting it in while you're attacking, if you have like five creatures in your graveyard, it will come in as an 8 2 as it's attacking. Same thing with Rhythm of the Wild, giving it haste. Um, it also just gives us a little bit of interaction, especially against flyers in our main deck. That we don't really have otherwise besides like dom refighting um but yeah that's what we have uh peyton i played four colors with command the dread horde and then uh, what do you think about death gorge scavenger i like death gorge scavenger we got two of them there's a lot of graveyard stuff going on uh arc light phoenix is pretty popular these days it's also just something that can gain us a little bit of life um against the, like in like the red matchup I think, I think Death Scorch Scavenger is is pretty reasonable with again with people playing less creatures these days then there's less creatures for um for like scavenger to trade down with so yeah so yeah we got a couple of Death Scorch Scavengers over there we got one Ripjaw Raptor over here in the sideboard also for the red matchup um but yeah that's what we got all right let's let's try some gruel so we're gonna go and play some mythic ranked matches today with this deck what's up prugor sorry i need some water oh really percival you you played so you put uh two scavenger main in the nia hero and two more in the board and it helped you win the Matchup against Dread Horde. <clears throat> awesome. Thanks, Brigger. Uh Yeah, Hawkeye's doing great. He just had his lunch. Um, I guess he's he's back up on the bed, looks like. All right, Drowned Catacomb. My plan, of course, was to play Jade Light Ranger, but I think here against Drowned Catacomb, I'll just get this Vivian in play. Wasn't meant to be <laughs> I've seen puppies I don't have double red. You. I don't have double red. But I already do have Jade Light. They can find another red source. Let's get it. I mean, we're... You just gotta go pig or go home. Right? Like, just got to. No, I needed that other Jade Light. Ooh, took the Phoenix. Interesting. Let me show you what was lost. Hawkeye is, I think, probably about 12, around right there, like 11, 12. He's, he's an older kitty. Things begin and end in nature. So 
So hopefully that's their only absorb. Kind of seems like they have another absorb, so I'm just going <clears> to <throat> play the harpooner. Have you ever lost a home? Yeah, Elder Spell seeing way more play these days. <laughs> I mean, there's at the beginning of the format, it wasn't as good because there wasn't as many Planeswalkers. But now that the format's adapting to just be all about Planeswalkers all the time, um, it certainly increases in value. Let's slow this down. So that should be bouncing Ilharg. Might be a bad idea. Strike now! Strike hard! Alright, you strike to fairy now. You strike to fairy hard. We will meet again. So this can destroy Ascanta whenever Ascanta flips. Now only blows up lands with activated abilities. So they know about the Ilharg. I think we just go ahead and play it. What's up, Trunks? There is wonder in a blade of grass. Beast. Yeah, we're going to be doing Tesserator up next. Today is the day of Tesseret. Starting over is the only way. Down to two. <clears throat> everybody's man, man, everybody's so excited about the Tesseract deck. Hopefully, hopefully, we do pretty well with it. We only have that. We only had that one Vivian in the main deck. Uh, it was really, really good. There, um, we're definitely bringing another Vivian in. It's kind of hard to actually attack with Ilharg against Espa. I don't think I want to play Cinder Vines. It's like, Scavenger is okay. Eaten Chemistry's Insights and stuff. Kind of want to take out one Ilharg. And just play this. No, I could, I could take out Domri. Yeah, let's take out Domri. Yeah, let's actually take out Domri. Just in general. I'll put in a scavenger. Could play Bronte. Can blow up a Cinder Vines also. Or sorry, blow, uh, blow up an Ascanta. Um, we have, so 
I do have a donation deck to play Dredge uh, that I'll be doing either tomorrow or Monday. I think I'm going to be doing it Monday. Um, so I think I'm going to play other Grixis, but that's that's the Dredge list that I just put in the chat that we have a, a donation to play. Wah, wah. Atlanta War Off was important. Alright, I hope they don't have Mortify, but the problem with Rhythm of the Wild, of course, is Little Teferi. It is pretty weak to Little Teferi. So it looks like they have chemistry's insight how they shocked in there. Mm, yeah, I mean, it's a great card here. It does mean that we don't have anything to put in with Ilharg, unfortunately. What's I'm playing? Questions. Thoughts on playing more Planeswalkers in the side here or having something like 5 mana Sarkin we need to move versus quickly. board wipes coming in the sideboard for the control decks? I want to try to kill that thing. That Teferi, that is. I don't think there's too many two mana removal spells that kill an Ilharg that they're gonna have. Yeah, that cast down. Um Only anyway, so we we already have a pretty good control matchup with like all the arc bows, right? Like so like the arc bows f find us more creatures. Like you wanna have a a critical mass of creatures whenever you're playing the arc bows. Um so it's Kind of tough to just play a bunch of um, to play a bunch of planeswalkers also, and then like little Vivian needs a lot of creatures also. No, I, I don't use uh, Twitter at all, Frostbite. Yeah, Scorn, Scorn could have bounced the Ilharg. I really want to hit Ravager Worm. That'd be ideal. I want to blow up this Ascanta. Like, Ravager Worm is the card that we really want right now. I could just start spinning the wheels, and I could spin for seven. I could play this thing, spin for seven, and look for it. This is just whenever they enter, right? Yeah. I think I do just spin on my turn. Hopefully look for Ravager Worm. Hmm. All right, so no Ravager Worm and no Rhythm of the Wild now. This 
isn't a fight you can win. So that went poorly for me. For sure, but if we just find Ravager Worm would be so good to find. I'll protect you. If we're going seven cards deep every time, we got to find it pretty soon, right? I know I'm doing sorcery speed because I wanted to eat the Oscanta and attack the Teferi. It's not ideal to, to be activating Arcbow at sorcery speed. Looking at eight cards a turn between our draw step and everything. We gotta find this Ravager Worm soon. Here goes nothing. No. Cancel. Ooh. There it is. All right, as Kanta's out of here, now we'll start activating Arcbow instant speed. Okay, they still have its fairy. I know my responsibility, not so fast. That's a good one. Alright, so Teferi's out here also. So basically down just to the two chemistries and sites. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. And we'll have the arc bow coming back here in a little bit. Yeah, Ravager Worm is just awesome for us. That card's very, very good. Getting rid of that Ascanta is was so so important. I know my responsibility. Bleh. Let's try this. What? Okay, so that that's gonna talk. No longer stand by and watch. No. Hurry. Hmm. We definitely have some kind of plan for this. No. They're just letting me kill their big Teferi. It's interesting. I really 
should have seen that coming. This is our very first match, Pelion. Got here right at the beginning here. So record is still 0-0. Zero and zero. Which one of my decks do I like the most? No, I am not making this up. Probably the, probably the Selesnya Arcbow deck. I would say. All right, we'll put him down to one. Whiffed with Ascanta. It's got to be game, right? All right, want to know? Climbing back up. Yesterday, yeah, they they really wanted to get me. Really wanted me to not play the arc, to play not have the arc bow. For sure. I don't I don't know if they needed to play the other Teferi and tick up and draw a card though. They could have just done the little Teferi and had the instant speed thought erasure and that's that and then just wait till the next turn and play the Teferi and tuck the Elrog or something. Keep the keep the other Teferi alive. I'm just playing the the big important Teferi out just to to be sacrificed basically didn't make the most sense. Uh, highest rank I've had this season is somewhere in the low hundreds, like low 100. I don't think I cracked 100, I don't think. Yesterday we were at like, like 200 at the beginning of the day and then went down to like 97%. <laughs> Did some losing yesterday. I don't love my matchup against the Wild Growth Walker decks. Don't love it. Yeah, so Joy, if you just copy paste or yeah, you copy paste the your deck list in the left hand side of the land cycler. And then uh, Um, and then whenever you have the image that you want down at the bottom, then you, then it'll have the, the new updated deck list for you on the other side. Do I just go Phoenix? No, let's go this. The old chumpers. Don't really want a Phoenix hostage taker. That's like the big problem.
Out of like all of matchups, I think this is like the one I would want to face the least with the deck I'm playing right now. Hopefully the Phoenixes can do some stuff. I sure like highlighting everything. They're just doing bits over there with the highlighting. Somebody that just loves their bits. Um, so do I let a Null Hide die to get more damage in? I think the answer is yes. Okay. Jade Light's going to die. I'll trade Jade Light for Branch Walker and Land War Elf, especially after they just sacrifice the land. Get them lower on mana, that's a good trade. And with having this Frasco Golgari Queen. They can minus and kill stuff. I am giving them another target for the Golgari Queen, which isn't spectacular, but... I need to end the game as fast as possible with, um, with you know, our opponent having seven cards, me having none. I hadn't seen, I haven't seen that, Peyton. Mortal Sun costs a, a lot of mana and. Playing a Mortal Sun when you have Null Hide out is like impossible. They just didn't fight. An unfortunate casualty. Don't they want to fight there and then kill the other the Phoenix token? Wasn't that like, that like their whole master plan? Harg. All right, time to draw Ronus. Let's draw Ronus or Ravager Worm. Yeah, that. Would, yeah, if you were gonna go three color with Command the Dead Horde, that would make sense. Just, just being soul timing. Mean, that's that's where you'd want to be. If if you're just three color. Being a former assassin is useful sometimes. Wild Growth Walker can still bail you out, though. Ah, pathetic. You can't you can't uh, access different basic land arts on Arena right now. They're gonna. They're, that's going to be part of the update on next Thursday. So they'll be adding that to Arena next Thursday. 
Uh, right now, um, there's this site that I use to be able to look for basic lands. Or to be able to get different basic lands there. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Came close. The hostage taker slowed us down just a little bit too much, and they found a jade light. Alive or alive. Need like Ronus. Maybe we'll still find Ronus or Ravager Worm. Bleh. All right, GG. And this is real good. Yeah, I wish you could turn off mouse highlights. But our, our opponent's just doing bits here, and just... Some people just like to do that, try to make the opponent upset by just highlighting everything. Alright, so we're going to bring in coils. And... Basically trimming... They're trimming these jade lights. Um, that don't necessarily get through super well. But this is not a match I am confident that we're going to be winning these games. Not very confident here. We'll try our best, though. Not ideal. Here we go, we got some interaction. I'm gonna get Harpooner out to start start a clock going. I can't really beat that card. It's possible they have like a second wild growth walker and so keeping the other lava coil just in case. Just played a game and neither of us played a card until I seven plus lands because we both had just hands of counter spells. Don't be surprised if we meet again. Oh, the day is yours. Wait 
Alright, coil that. Could be another hostage taker. Um, Hydroid crisis. I don't think I just want to... Like, at this point of the game, I don't want to just use a Lava Coil on a Land War Elf. Okay, so that will... Will that kill the egg? I guess it would. Hmm. That's rough. Yeah, that's really unfortunate, because we're going to have, like, the Phoenix is going to be able to attack for eight there. Yeah, that was a really, really quality Masker Girl. So go grab Ronus back. So even Battlefield, they have a card, plus they get to draw first. Alright, so now I'm I get to draw. Loneliness can Wow, that's a good one. Wow, that's even even better one. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Behold, nature's true power. This card is so good. All I've left you is pain. Wow, that's another good one. Hmm. What do I do with this though? Go wait a turn. Oh wait, no, I can't. I can't discard. I can't activate arc bow and then also play this next turn. What am I thinking? What are we doing over here? Perish the thought. The land fights for us. Ugh, what a whiner. Hmm. Gosh, these two cards are just going to kill me. Do I have to attack Davriel? If I attack Davriel, I die. If I attack Nissa, I die. If I don't attack, I die. Ugh, if I would have played Ravager Worm, still would have died. Ravager Worm wasn't going to be killing the Nyssa. The Davriel would have killed me before I could kill them. But... <laughs> Yeah, honestly, Gruul, Gruul's probably better with just Nissa's instead of Ilhargs and, and Arc Bows and everything. Nissa is 
really, really strong. Especially these days with everybody playing Planeswalkers, how it gets to pressure Planeswalkers so well. GG, Ziek. Okay. Hopefully not another Sultai matchup. That's the... It's definitely one matchup I don't want to face. Okay. I can do some Jun stuff. Do some Jun things. Wow, Storm, that was quick. I already got your daily quest done. Tilt. The pig. Of course, both our Domries, not ideal hand here. Not ideal. Yeah, duels are for personals. Let's just What's that? Fight. Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. So we're attacking for two less. But we still have the Ravager Worm to be able to fight whatever creature comes up. But if I would have played Ravager Worm Haste, we would have only attacked for four. No sword can pierce my scales. Your end has arrived. That works. Then you know necessarily want to draw the land, but that's that's okay. Come on. Alright. Sarkin down. Yeah, maybe we just need more Ravager Worms in this deck also. Or it's just always incredible. Never bad, it's like no, never bad. Uh I'll decline, I'll take the five. Pig, oh, the pig the takes down the dragon. The Everybody knows pigs are bigger than dragons. Everybody knows that. <laughs> the worm is like nom. All right, that should be game. That's just. I mean, I could have could have played the the new Domri and fought again, but we have lethal. Don't really need to show my opponent that I have two Domries, kind of thing. Okay, so they got Spellbreaker, Sarkin, some removal spells. Demanding Dragon. That's pretty big. Um, I don't know about... I don't know if we do anything. <laughs> it is a god pig. That is true. It's not your average pig. I think I may want to play this Vivian. Extra Vivian. Maybe take out a Domri, but I don't know. Like... Fighting stuff was cool. Take out a harpooner. I'll keep the two drops in. We should take out one of these threes. Could take out a Jade Light Ranger, but 
they're just trying to kill all of our stuff. j can get some good card advantage for us, help us hit our land drops. I'll take the Domri out. Nah, Domri adds mana too. I'll take out a Jade Light for the other Vivian. Uh, yeah, I would say Celestia Arcbow is probably my personal choice for ranked best of three. I haven't played it in the last few days with us just playing other decks and everything. Um, ugh. Ugh. All right. Yeah, if I had to, if I had to pick one deck, I guess I'd pick that one. Looks like we're just gonna be going to game three here. Not much, uh, not much magic to play this game. And. Unless we get fortunate and draw land here. Like, you know, the land werewolf doesn't die and we draw land. Nope. Not fortunate. Yeah, I think Esper Controls is just fine. Yeah. I think people play too many uh, Absorbs and Esper Control. I don't think Absorbs very good right now. With all the little Teferis running around, I think you want to be able to play basically all your spells at sorcery speed if possible. But yeah, I think it, Esper Control built more on, on beating like little Teferi midrange. Is a fine choice. Am I supposed to be playing Lava Coils? Are they going to have Phoenix? They they, they got to be playing Phoenix, right? I guess I should be playing my own Lava Coils. Maybe I don't want this Vivian. Well, we didn't get to really play any Magic there that second game. Hopefully... We get to play Magic here, game three. Okay, we'll, we'll play some Magic, at least. Get to keep our hand. bit more aggressive than I first imagined. So yeah, question is why did I take out Vivian there? Uh, because two reasons. One, I thought that they could be with Spellbreakers uh, that we had seen demanding Dragon. I thought they could be pressuring Vivian. But two, since I was bringing in removal, I wasn't going to have as many creatures. Uh, in my deck, and without as many creatures, Vivian's value goes down quite a bit. So if you if you play Vivian and minus and whiff, you know it doesn't it's not very good. For example, there. Sarkin's and ceiling. So that's a cast. Four, five, or six deals four damage to any target. Oh no. That can be so much damage. Yeah. 
be so much damage. Maybe they don't have big things left? Okay. It's a good sign, good sign. The percent is how close you are to top 1200 for the mythic percentages. When you lose, you go, like, it, they have the top 1200 people um, as a number. Can we find Ilharg? Definitely attacking with one of these. But I want to attack with the other one also. Basically need to definitely kill my opponent next turn if I attack with the other one. It's possible. They just take it. They're down to six. Now I'd be taking four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I could block four of it. So I could take eight. This could do eight. <laughs> oh, spark double on Tezzeret. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Maybe I haven't. I've never seen anybody go down to like fifty percent before. But maybe. Maybe it does. I mean, I, I assume if you just keep losing, you just keep losing percentages. I've seen like the lowest I can think of is like eighty-one percent. It's like the lowest percentage I can think of that I've seen. But yeah, I assume if you just keep losing, you just keep losing percentage. So yeah, plays off your win-loss record like that. That was a good draw from Reggie. That's a real good draw. I'm ditching the lava coil, of course. I guess a 5-5 five, five Trampler is better than a 5-5 five, five Non-Trampler. So they chump block their block four ideal nine to them. 
I can attack. I can put them down to four with this attack, but then I guess I'm just dead on the swing back. So... If they obviously if they draw anything big, I'm dead. Huh. That's not what I was expecting. I was expecting the Llanowar Alpha jump there, not the Registar Alpha. So I'm gonna have two creatures back on defense. And hope my opponent draws a land here. Now since they blocked with the 4-4 instead of the 1-1, if they just draw a removal spell, they don't have lethal. Why are they saying is that game as in I win the game? What's the... There's something I'm missing here. Yeah, they would've just kept the 4-4 instead of kept the 1-1. One, one. What a close, what a close game. So close. So close. All right, we're two and one. Playing two more matches here. We're gonna play five matches, uh, and then switch switch decks on over to Tesserator. Yeah, if they would have kept the four four, we would have died. Because then we would have been able to block the 4-4 and the 3-3, and they would have gotten one more point in, because then they would have had the 2-2-2s, two, two would have been haste, and I, I would have been dead. I would have taken 4. On the play. Jeez. It's just all one landers. Yeah, I mulligan twice. I didn't. Didn't go to four. Yeah, last match we there was a game like this that we didn't get to play magic. Looks like this one we're not going to be able to play magic either. All right, so do I even like start playing stuff? Or do I just scoop it up? This has got to, this has just gotta be Nexus with Opt and Escanta. I don't a three two harpooner is not gonna be killing a Nexus opponent. Fortunately there's not very much Nexus around these days, so I don't have any I'm sorry, I only have three Cinder Vines instead of four.
Um, one Phoenix out and take the Rhythm or the Domri. I'm going to cut an Arcbow. Arcbow is pretty slow. I guess I could maybe just cut all the Arcbows. Nah. We'll keep two. Could maybe help find Bronte or like a Ravager Worm to blow up in Escanta Land or something. Okay, can we, can we play magic here? All right, we can play magic. Let's get some damage in or some Power on the battlefield. Spider-Man's July 2nd. It's not July yet. Ooh, no counterspell. There's a lot of attacking that we're doing here. So honestly, that last turn, where we were at, there's no reason to play Ilharg. I I should just keep the mana up to be able to activate Cindervine and Brontodon. Do they just go, like, Bounce Spell? I don't know if they go, like... Like, they, they could have killed us. I, I could have died I, right there, honestly. They could have had um, Reclamation into Fog plus Bounce... I don't know. Maybe maybe we couldn't have died. Could we have died? We had five mana. They could have Reclamation into Nexus. Mm. First two draw steps are really bad. It's keeping this with like the, the fast start here. Especially like having this Harpooner down. Right away, you know, like, we got a lot of power. I was hoping our, you know, definitely hoping to draw things. So first two draw steps being land to land. Worst possibles. Hopefully we can follow this up. Okay. I'll be for next turn, I suppose. Ravager Worm's good in this matchup, though, because besides Ascanta, they have, like, Memorial to Genius. Also, sometimes they play... Um, Arch of Arazka. The path put thoughtfulness before action. Unfortunately, I didn't have any of those. I would. I wish they would have had a Memorial of Genius. Oh, just put a Memorial of Genius into play. Oh, dang. I'm going to make it so we have lethal next turn. Since we got nothing. We got no bullets in the chamber over here. Instead of attacking Narset for three. And them for four. Hmm. 
Let us see if your talents are. I think you will find my notes helpful. All right, no nexuses. Maybe they don't have anything in hand and they whiff off this chemistry's insight. Whiff. Whiff. Hey, we got a host. Mogwai. Welcome, everybody. From a Mogwai stream. I was actually watching your YouTube channel earlier today. Um, all right, so Tamio getting fog back should <laughs> that should basically end this. But technically, if they have nothing else, uh, it won't end it because they have to like they'll have to minus three Tamio again next turn. Yeah, it's not like Mogwai's Grixis list. That's what I was looking at. All right, well, that will... I'll go ahead and do it. Good game. Unfortunately, game one, we didn't get to play. We had to mulligan to Oblivion and didn't get to cast any spells, and we got game two, but this game three, as you can tell, we only drew four spells. Drew too many lands there. Definitely could have mulligan. You know, my hand was double land war elf, crowl harpoon. So my opener there was double... On the draw, double land war elf, crowd harpooner, and four lands. We have like a higher curve. The harpooner was like a, a good early thing, and then, you know, hopefully draw anything to help us out, which, which we did. I guess we drew the one Ravager Worm, but then all lands besides the one Ra Ravager Worm. We've been doing this a whole lot, though. The mulligan and not play magic. Had one of those games in each of the last two matches. Oh no, Mogwai gave up on the Grixis deck. Hmm. I'm going to be playing Grixis tomorrow. I'm uh, not doing the Grixis today. Because uh, we're doing the Demir Tezzerator deck, so that's a blue-black deck. On Soul Tide now? Yeah, a lot of people are playing Soul Tide these days. Soul Tide is not so bad. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Wow, Land of War Off was a great draw. So I get the rhythm back in. So we can, like, have Ilharg next turn and Spellbreaker. Time. Like, put Spellbreaker in to play off Ilharg. That's perfect. Join my cause. Beast. Alright, we'll attack them. We'll have the Spellbreaker come in and attack Kasmina, because the Spellbreaker is going to be a 5 5. So, Spellbreaker will be able to take out Kasmina. Out others, then. And the interplay and beacon gaining them a lot of life. So two beacon doing doing good for them. Evil thief. I haven't given up on Grixis yet. I. Like in the list we're gonna play tomorrow, and I guess oh I maybe I shouldn't play that mountain. I guess I just attack and put this into play instead of actually casting it. Hmm. Now let's let's get it. Let's go ahead and play it. Wait, why did I do haste? 
Yeah, no, I need, I need to do haste. Yeah, okay, never mind. Okay, uh, trade with Lanowar off. They take 10. It's a bad trade for me. Tesserator combo. I'm not doing any kind of combo in my Tesserator deck. I think there's there's a combo with like with like the Guardian, right? Like maybe maybe you need like Ook or yeah, you need like the Tesseret to make the Guardian of Coleos. Um be able to play that for zero over and over. It's a sport that my students are Is that the combo you're talking about? I don't have that combo in my deck. So if this was a creature, I'd probably just go to attacks and put the creature into play kind of thing. And then end step then put it back in my hand end step and then use it to arc bow. But uh, we're just gonna go ahead and spin the arc bow here. We have a lot of things that kill our opponent. Uh God Eternal Ronus is one of those. Let's go. Arcbow at 4 and 0 oh so far. Some Sultai weird stuff just fell prey. It was running Dream Eaters, an Arcbow of its own, and ETB creatures. Okay, Sultai Arcbow with, yeah, Frilled Mystic and Hostage Taker. Always fun. All right, so they're playing a bunch of Planeswalkers. Hmm, what do I want to do against Planeswalker.deck? I'm not sure if I really changed too much. I guess I don't really want Domri too much. I'd rather have Vivian than Domri. Do I want Ripjaw Raptor? Because they're going to have, like, Deafening Clarion. I don't, I don't really know if anything Scavenger is going to do here. I could just play the Cinder Vines, but I don't know if that's going to really help me. Because, like, they, they gain a lot of little life. Kind of feeling like Ripjaw Raptor. Or maybe I just play this. Yeah, maybe it's just Omri. No, I'm gonna go the Raptor. Raptor's cool. I don't have to play Raptor too much. Uh, I don't. I'm not planning on making the Tron deck for best of three right now. But. You know, maybe a little bit later in the format. Uh, that's not... So basically, I would say I probably won't be doing that over the next week, but maybe after that. Who knows? Let's get Jade Light help fix our draws. Like, getting rid of the Llanowar Elf. So I could have attacked for three this turn, but... Don't need to. Listen up, and I'll keep home your control. It's a good card. I don't really want to trade there. But the 2 2 can just like do a lot better blocking later on. My students are loyal and brilliant. I won't hide from time is much more malleable than people think. All right, need to kill this to fairy. Fairy's too good. Always got to kill Teferi on on sight. This is hard. Good block of my opponent. Gosh, I should have attacked with Jade Light last turn. Hmm. That's gonna be an annoying one. This should be fun. Yeah, that's gonna be an annoying one. <laughs> Thanks, Cyrus. Getting that badge. Very nice. Learn from this. 
Don't want them just to get a bunch of little one ones. Time wipe. Where, where? So gonna play one creature. I wouldn't mind drawing a land and being able to double spell with these this next turn. Ow. Hmm. Shocking, huh? So th they want a double mobilized district? I guess I'll trade Null Hide for two mobilized districts if that's what they want to do with their life. Regardless, I have learned much. I don't know what this shock is for. I, I don't know. Pass turn so fast, like just acting like settle over there. We have seen we've seen time wipe so far. As far as sweepers go. It's a lot of blue mana. Again. So they can only block one creature, right? So it seems like to me. No disdainful stroke. Ugh. Tilt. Would have been lethal if they didn't have the counter spell. Let's draw spells, please. Oh, blast sounds great. Draw some spells. Gotta charge up the draw. Woo! Charge it up. Here we go. Drawing something good now. It's all charged and ready to go. If we get a draw step.
Wow. I did all that. The opponent stabilized. These lands have been awesome for him. Oh wait, no. Blasto, no, they're not going to be able to Blasto now. Never mind. Right, because they can't activate Blast Zone and they can't put counters on it and, and sacrifice it to kill Feroxes. All right. We supercharge too early now. Whew. Supercharge. There it is. There it is. There it was. Settle protection and everything. All right, so we ended up going 3-2 with Gruul Arcbow here in Mythic. Definitely good. It'll take three twos every time. You know, 60% win rate. That's good. Obviously, a very small sample. Um, but we'll take that every time. We had we had some a little bit of trouble there with mana. More than what we would think of just like one, land, one lander, one lander, one lander, you know, mulligan. To where we don't get to play any games. Yeah, or like, you know, didn't get to play the game. But yeah, Ravager Worm was awesome. Nullhide was pretty good. Rekindling Phoenix, Gruel Spellbreaker, just really solid cards. The Rhythm of the Wild did a lot for us. Um, Arcbow, of course, is just awesome. Love Arcbow. And Ronus was really impressive, too. Ilharg was pretty good. Times Ilharg wasn't the best. Um, I could see just playing Gruel... I mean, Ravager Worm was awesome, but I could see moving away from Ilharg and Ronus and Nullhide and Arcbow and going with the the two mana two two with Riot and then uh, Vivian or Nissa's Nissa's and Sarkins at the five mana slot because Nissa and Sarkin are just both really really powerful, but. It's just everybody's playing Planeswalkers these days. <laughs> the Planeswalkers are all so good. That could be better than Ronus, Ilharg, Ferox, and Arcbow. Possibly. But loved me some Ravager Worm there. This is just a, a solid deck at just, you know, playing a good, honest game of Magic and attacking. This one isn't too tricky to play. Um, if you if you like playing your, your good, honest game of getting some creatures in play and attacking... This is a pretty solid deck. It like the those cards like you may not feel so great about some of the games, but those cards like Ferox, Ilharg, and Ronus are just so big that they'll just win games for you. Um, yeah, that is why Immortal Sun is so good right now. So yesterday's Demir Control deck was built around Immortal Sun, and Immortal Sun was just awesome there because everybody's just playing tons of Planeswalkers. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Gruel Arcbow, solid. That's what I'd say with this deck. Uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there.